I'm here at the local Sainsbury's. Um, I want to kind of give you a chance to see what the difference is between grocery stores in the United States versus grocery stores in England. And one of the big differences is just the size of the store. Um, this store is kind of typical. They have these all over the place. Um, there's Sainsbury's local, there's Tesco Express. They're essentially the same kind of store. But basically, they're these miniaturized versions of, of a, maybe a neighborhood Walmart um, that just sell food for the most part. They have like a little aisle with cosmetics and things like that, but mostly there's just food here. Um, and I kind of want to show you what it looks like to walk around in one of these little stores. Um, this is where you go to if you need your milk, if you need your whatever. And actually you could really get by with never having to go to a larger grocery store. You could honestly just go to this grocery store for all of your grocery needs. So here we go, let's go in. So in Sainsbury's, um, you'll find a lot of the same things you'd find in a normal American grocery store. So this is kind of their meat aisle. Um, this aisle is, is much smaller, obviously, than a meat aisle might be in, in a typical U.S. grocery store. You can find meat and fish here. There are a lot more fish options here than in my grocery store, but we're also a lot closer to the sea here, so that makes sense. Um, so there's quite a few of those. And um, you also find chicken and, and, and beef products. Um, by comparison, the bread aisle is much larger than the meat aisle. Um, and I'd say it's, it's comparable to something you might find in a larger grocery store in the States. So for instance, uh, here is kind of the whole corner that's about bread. And then you turn around and there's this whole next section um, down here that's also about the bread. Here's some kind of ready-made meals. Um, some stuff that I wouldn't necessarily see back home. So there's um, a liver and bacon mash, and there's a Cumberland pie. Those are things that um, obviously we just wouldn't see. There are also some normal things, like some, there's some Chinese food here. And there's some pizzas that you can just take home and bake, things like that. Um, prices here, I've noticed, it's pretty easy to basically take the number of pounds, and everything is about 20% more expensive. Uh, over the dollars of what I would have spent at home, but uh, the pound is also about 20% more expensive than the dollar anyway. So it's actually, you know, if something costs a dollar back home, it costs about a pound here. And, and it's, it's pretty close as far as, you know, as far as that comparison, that comparison it seems pretty accurate. Here we are in the cheese aisle, and I'd say the biggest difference between the cheese aisle here and the cheese aisle in the States is there's hardly any yellow cheese here. I'm looking, I see maybe there's two, two little blocks of yellow cheese and everything else is a white cheese. So no stop to British supermarket would be complete without the tea and coffee aisle. There's a bit here. Here we see milk and yogurt. These things are pretty typical. Um, they're basically the same as they are in the US, except that I've noticed a lot of these kind of larger size yogurts. Um, they're normally about a pound or so. And I know some kind of all over the place. Um, people bring them for their lunches and people eat these all the time. Probably more often than I've seen in the States. Um, but other than that, I'd say this is all pretty typical. You've got whole milk and skim milk and 1% and um, they've got some different options up here as well. This is coconut milk and almond milk. So kind of normal, just like you'd see in a U.S. grocery store. This is one of the coolest things about Sainsbury Locals and Tesco Express that I really, really love. Um, and they all have these kind of meal deals where, here I'll kind of show you kind of what it says. Um, they, they have got these little notes that say, I'm in the meal deal. And basically you can grab like a sandwich, a drink, and a side item, like a bag of chips or something like that, a bag of crisps or something like that. Um, and normally the meal deal is like, it's like two bucks for all of the things that are in the meal deal. It's a really great deal and I've really loved that um, for a lunchtime type situation, I can run into it pretty much any grocery store and find a meal deal for two or three dollars, um, which is great. So here in the 
um, home baking and confectionery item, there's a couple things to note. First of all, those are eggs and this is not refrigerated. So in the UK, they don't refrigerate their eggs um, until they get back home. Apparently some people do put them in the fridge when they get home. I think that's interesting, just because they don't keep as long. And then I'll also say, this is kind of interesting, is that the brand Cadbury is like the Hershey's of the States. Everything has Cadbury on it. Um, all, their, all their chocolate products are Cadbury and, and there really isn't a Hershey's uh, monopoly here like there is in the States. And this is the candy aisle. In the candy aisle, a lot of things are pretty similar to what they are in the States. Um, you do have, you know, Snickers here and um, I don't know, there's Reese's and things like that. Um, Sour Patch Kids are right there. But there are also some different things. Um, this is kind of a fun place to play around in if you're in the, in the UK. Um, Frutella, Magic Stars, like there's a bunch of stuff that's just different than what you might find in the US grocery store. But there's enough familiarity here that you'll know kind of what's going on. I do just want to point this out. This section right here is kind of their health and beauty and some cosmetic stuff and some paper towels, <laughs> things like that. It's basically from here and it's like a, like a half aisle down. Um, I just want to point that out that that is here. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this today, but they do have some things like that if you need. I've mentioned the crisps here before, and I think they're fun and exciting. The flavors are just different, so I want to point them out again. Um, here's some. This one's Mature Red Onion. Um, this one here is Barbecue Rib Flavored. Um, we have some, let's see, uh, on this side, Sweet Thai Chili is here, um, Thai Sweet Chicken. Flame grilled steak flavored. There's a bacon sizzler flavored crisp. Um, I think the crisp flavors are just fun. Even the Doritos are interesting. Um, the Dorito here is that's a chili heat wave, <laughs> and that one's tangy cheese. Um, so I, I don't know. I think they're interesting. I think it's fun that there's so many different flavors. But honestly, they all kind of taste the same as the chips do in the U.S. This aisle, this whole aisle, is kind of an interesting phenomenon because right here you see soft drinks, and that's kind of everything that isn't a hard drink. And that goes till right here. And then you can see up there, red wine starts um, starting there. And then on this side, you have hard drinks that start here and go all the way down the rest of the aisle. And so what that means is you've got about a quarter of this aisle is soft drinks, and then the rest of it is hard drinks. Um, and so I think it just says something about the culture here. It, there's definitely more of a culture of drinking here than there is in some parts of the States. Obviously, you find parts of the States where drinking is that, and you'll probably find parts of the UK where it's not. But drinking is just kind of a normal part of being here. And so there are so many options and so many different types of hard drinks, whereas there aren't as many options for soft drinks. Of course, biscuits gets the whole section here, um, which is great. That's a section you just wouldn't see in the U.S. at all. Um, for me personally, I really like jam Jammy Dodgers, and I really like uh, Jaffa Cakes, which some people say aren't biscuits. I guess that's a whole controversy here. But um, this is a cool section. I'd say spend some time here because biscuits are cookies, of course, in the States, but they're um, great for dipping in teas, and um, it's kind of a like, British phenomenon. Like, biscuits are just fun. Last thing I'll point out about a grocery store in the UK, there's so many things here and so many things I could spend more time on. There's some sections that I kind of skipped over. Um, but the last thing I'll say is right here, um, we have a bunch of um, kind of curry options. And those are really popular in the UK, really normal. Um, apparently, um, curry is the most often eaten dish in the UK. So that's kind of a fun fact, and, and, and their grocery stores definitely reflect that. I see a lot more curry options, especially in ratio, than I do in the US. Um, so there's lots of options for pasta and for rice and curry different dish, dishes and different things from those regions um, that are just in jars or in like little pasty, like the little powder dishes and things like that and so it's great to have a lot of options for those. A couple last things about the grocery stores in the UK um, that I forgot to mention. One is you have to bring your own bags because no grocery stores in the UK um, will offer you bags. You can pay for bags while you're there, like they'll have them, but you have to pay extra for them. So it's better to bring your own bags. That's why I was wearing a backpack through this whole video. Um, a second note uh, is just that I didn't get a chance to talk about like payments or like kind of that section. It's real similar to the US grocery stores though. They have a bunch of self checkout lines um, and normally one or two people kind of work in the front counter who can check you out because it's smaller they don't actually have conveyor belts so they just have like normal counters kind of so you just kind of hand them their items they kind of bag them and 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 that kind of a thing um and i'd say that they're really really nice here i'm dealing with my i don't know what kind of money i'm using and i'm using a foreign credit card so that's a, as a step uh, where they've got to check my signature
signature and things like that. But everyone's been really nice. Um, I've had no issues at all with the checkout ones. Um, I think you shouldn't have a problem with that at all. So overall, I'd say grocery store is a great experience. If you enjoyed this video, uh, feel free to thumbs up and subscribe. We've got more videos coming out just like it. Have a good one.